guess who finally picked up that camera? I have been away from YouTube for so long. Like, way too long. But I'm going to explain myself. It was not deliberate. At certain times it was. At certain times it was literally not. Life was just really life in at the time. But that's really all information I can give at the moment because I don't want to relive what I went through if that makes sense but yeah I finally picked up my camera and we're spending the day together well the week together and I can't wait to actually do this I just woke up it is currently 8.55 I'm getting ready to head out I just need to quickly you know get myself ready for the day and get this show on the road but yeah i probably look really tired i do feel really tired but i'm trying to really improve my sleep schedule so i just have to frame it for the day but honestly i'm looking forward to the day we're gonna have some fun together but yeah let's get ready for the day that was the initial plan i was meant to be back home however group chat was like you don't want to go for a walk i said i'm not opposed that's how we ended up going on a little hot girl walk so that was fun 
and I got my steps in. I just have like 3,000 more, so that means I can just go on another walk if I want to. But yeah, I'm probably going to do that because I was meant to be collecting something from the super truck um, that I ordered online, but that's not... They have it, like, they messaged me this morning at like 7 telling me, oh, your package is on the way. It's currently almost 4 p.m. and I've not gotten word if that package is in store currently. And super drunk probably because around like 5 to 6 p.m. So I need to find out what's going on. And I'm probably going to call them to find out what's going on because that's getting my nerves. Um, and I need to step by Marks and Spencer because I need to get a few things down there. So I still have some things to do in the day. And I've been up really early. I'm proud of myself because I'm an insomniac. So when I do sleep, I sleep for very short periods. And I end up sleeping like once the sun's already up, which is during the day. And that takes up most of my day, really and truly. But yeah, I've done my devotion for the day. Check. Done my hot girl walk for the day. Check. Go to the gym. Check. I haven't eaten though. So I'm going to make like a bagel um, for lunch because I just can't be asked to actually cook something so I'm probably gonna have a bagel and then um I'm gonna go on another walk with the girls because the weather is just a one like it's starting to feel like spring it has been cold for so long like so so long because I literally it has been cold for so long because I literally went to Zambia um in December came back it was too cold that was around December, right? Cool. That's normally the time when it's cold. In March, um, towards the, literally last few days of March before Easter, going into Easter actually, last few days of March going to Easter, um, I flew back to South Africa with my family to spend Easter. And of course, the weather was not favorable when I came back. It's May. I've been praying on spring and spring is finally starting to feel like spring now so yeah I feel like I'm gonna put a claw clip back in my hair because I don't want to carry a hairbrush with me but I don't know I feel like it's okay down but hey um yeah I don't mind it down we'll see how I'm feeling I'm gonna carry my claw clip anyway but yeah I'm supposed to step out soon so to you guys today um it's just been a really busy morning because i am still on the job hunt and everyone knows how stressful the job hunt can be especially for an international student in the uk so that's practically a full-time job looking for a job as well so my morning has really just been doing applications sending those through and my eyes even hurt from just looking at the screen right now but yeah that's basically just been my morning sending out applications waiting for responses and also going through my emails because i always check my emails to see responses from other firms new opportunities and different platforms that i'm signed up to and the likes so that's just been my morning um, I made breakfast, which you guys saw, which is low-key my hand out of the day because obviously with the job hunt, you have rejection letters and yeah, I've gotten about, I've gotten a lot. I'm not going to specify the number because the number is really, really high, but I've gotten a lot and it can take your spirits down really low. I'm trying to avoid letting you do that 
and also just like i have had a control problem most of my life i'm very hyper independent and i just love having control over a lot of things in my life so not having that control over the outcome of what's happening right now really does just lower down my spirits but i'm also just trying to learn to depend on god more instead of relying on myself and in the moments when this would normally happen back in the day i would just shut down but i'm trying to relearn taking things to god rather than trying to fix it on my own and then going to god and going like why are my efforts not working when really and truly it's like you didn't trust in me like god is literally screaming you don't trust me type of situation but yeah it really did bring my spirits down but instead of letting it bring my spirits down and ruin my whole day I just went did my devotion like I do every morning the word was literally just what I needed to hear today and took that in stride prayed let it to God I said I'm not taking this as a rejection it's a redirection maybe you have something not maybe need to stop saying that as well not maybe but I know you have a better plan for me and I have to put my faith in you because faith is believing before you see it while wow, human nature tells you to see to believe it yeah so that's the stride i'm taking and my spirit's a bit uplifted now it's currently 4 p.m really late in the afternoon and i have a few packages that i need to pick up so i had something that I ordered from superdrug so i need to head to superdrug and pick up my package before they close which is very very soon after which i need to go to marks and spencer because i have been saying or something i wanted to make that i didn't manage to make yesterday um that i want to have today for dinner obviously keeping the spirits high so do things do things that you don't normally do and that's practically what i'm going to do um so yeah i need to go to marks and spencer to put a few things and you guys can see what i'm trying to make later on but yeah that was a little vent session like not vent session but yeah that was just me finally saying that out loud because that's really just been in my head brewing and just the conversation i've been having with god so it feels like a weight has been lifted just like saying it out in the open so yeah um that's fun another thing i've been trying to get out of is just like the hyper independence thing which is i need to learn to ask for help when i need help and not try and find solutions on my own so that has been a very big lesson for me at this stage of my life where it is it's always been hard for me to ask for help even in uni it was very hard for me to ask for help and when i did solutions came about and obviously my results got better this and the third but now i feel like i just as an adult leaving that uni space i also need to learn to ask for help more now especially in this period of when i'm navigating what I want to do career-wise in the long run. I already know what I want to do. It's just finding the people to help me get into those spaces, somewhat open the doors for me into those spaces, or like speak about me at tables that I'm not at, basically. So it's things like looking for mentor, things like um, joining groups, communities, those things. It's like trying to put myself out there and not just dwell on just the knowledge that I have and it doesn't hurt to ask a closed mouth can be fed basically so that's the concept I'm taking on with me in life but I'm ranting a bit too much and um time is running out so let me head to super drug I'm going to take you guys along um obviously at some point you also might have noticed with my breakfast like I just showed you guys breakfast and nothing else from then on my camera died <laughs> I didn't charge my battery the night before which is a fault of my own but hey I'm here now you get me i'm here so yeah let's do all that my scent for the day hope you guys guys let me spraying it on it's even done like i use this so much i need to get a new one but i use a kaylee 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 um by mona huda beauty sister i believe yeah I use Kiali and I use Love Fest Brandy Cherry and I use it so much. It's like, this is my everyday go-to scent. I love smelling like this. In it is raspberry, praline, palo santo, um, patchouli and Brandy Cherry. I just love the, the smell of Brandy Cherry on me. I feel like it's very feminine but also very growing, very musky-like. But yeah, this is my everyday scent. But look at how much is left. 
it's literally gone um so there's that i also need to go look for sunscreen in boots that's another thing i forgot um the current sunscreen i use right i'm going to use it anyway because i don't want to burn but and it's obviously a bit sunny outside now these days but they do say recommend sunscreen every single day which i'm trying to do but also because hold on i use this sunscreen i got it from aldi there was a rave at some point for the uk girlies where they're like okay your sunscreen from aldi it's black girl friendly i used to use this one and it's done right and this one is really good for my skin like it didn't leave no cast nothing and i use this all over holiday my skin tone was the same never got sunburned nothing this is done right so i was like i need a new sunscreen so i saw this spf 50 as a sun lotion and i was like why not except it leaves a white cast so i need to find one that sps 50 but like black girl friendly i've heard about the sol de janeiro one and it's not yet in stores in Boots because I know Boots is now doing Sword de Janeiro. So I am literally going to check Boots to see if they have it and how much it is. If not, find an alternative that's more affordable. But I have been looking at it because everyone's saying like it's really good and it's a spray. I think I like the sprays more because it's going to smell like this scent that I already have, which is the Sword de Janeiro um, 23. So why not just match it up? It just makes more sense, right? But yeah. That's the story for another day. But you guys are coming along with me. I think I've sat here and talked for some time. But hold on. Put me FaceTime in me. So let's just see. What about? Hello. Hello. Did you already go to the drugs? No, I'm literally leaving now. Oh, okay. Uh, can I just get a Caribbean? Okay, then I'll find you. I'm literally outside wow. by some drugs. All right then, mate. Say you later. Yeah, boy. See you. All right, bye, babes. So yeah, I should be heading out. Let's go. Shroom super drunk. I don't understand why it is in this big box because what well, I've got is not even big. So, this is a waste of paper in a world ever to be sustained. But, good. anyway, um, this is what I got from super drunk. Came in a big box, but literally, this is what I got. It was pimple patches because I have been breaking out as of recent and the breakouts have been a bit extreme now the problem of picking up my skin which has obviously worsened my hyperpigmentation in my face I means getting better now but it's obviously been worsened by constantly picking my face so I did some research asked the girlies online the tiktok girlies recommended products and which ones are available in the UK and everyone was like try Starface so I got myself some Starface um come on this little like pack they're 23 in here and it has a little mirror on it it's really cute carry it anywhere but yeah there's my new paper patches I also got my had a gift card from Sephora that I have not used and it was about to expire so i said why not use it because during bank holiday there's a lot of free delivery happening so i got myself some stuff in the door from so i got myself some stuff from sephora 
Can I stop it? Put myself from put myself some stuff from Sephora. Um finally got my hands on topicals again. And I've got the hydrating moisturizer, the life like butter one, and I've got the topicals faded cream, the brightening clearing serum. I used to use these products religiously back in the day, and obviously I ran out. And the problem that I had was the first time I got topicals, I had to order directly from the topical sites in America to the UK, and you can imagine I paid a foot and a leg to get that into the uk and it was quite expensive and now that topicals is in the uk and sephora is in the uk as well a lot of products i don't need to be paying those extortionate shipping fees anymore um i just got my hands on the sol de janeiro 62 that everyone's been raving about and it goes perfectly with most of the scents i use anyway so got my hands on that can't wait to use it. I saw that it's now in boots recently, so that's gonna make it easier for me to replen, especially because Sephora is in London. I don't even live in London, so that's gonna make it easy for me to just go to boots in town and grab it if I need it. So yeah, that's my little mini unboxing. I think it's easy. I don't know why the packaging was a bit extreme. Um, I stopped by Marks and Spencer's because I wanted to grab a few things there. What I wanted to grab, I didn't find, so I just grabbed some cleaning products that I knew were running out of in the house. And that's practically just been my day so far. I've done only 3,000 steps so far, actually 4,000 steps so far, and my target for the day is 10. So I'm going to have to go for a walk, but at the same time, I also have to go to gym. So I normally use the gym that's in my building. But because it doesn't have a Stairmaster, there's Pure Gym. And Pure Gym put in a promotion where it was literally £9 for a month. And that's what I'll need it for for now. Until I decide if I want to go further with doing Stairmaster religiously like that or not. Because we do have treadmills downstairs. So we'll see. I'm trying to see which one is a better option for me. But yes, I'm going to probably go take a walk to the gym, Pure Gym, get my Stairmaster workout for the day out of the way, then take another walk just to get my steps in, get back home and use the gym downstairs because it is on day, it's upper body, so I'm not really stressful, I'm not really stressed about it if it was a leg day. But yeah, me saying this is me holding myself accountable so I actually get that done. So... Let me go get changed. I think I'm coming along anyway, so why not? You know how I just said that I'm going to go to Pure Gym today or go to the gym at all? Well, I'm here to hold myself accountable, yeah? Um, today's Wednesday, right? I went Monday, I went Tuesday. Big on me, I went two days in a row, right? I mean, it's not a big deal, but like in terms of like the week, it's gonna make sense in terms of like the week because I only go to gym five days a week out of seven, right? To give myself some rest days. So normally my rest days are Saturday and Sunday. But this time, because first of all, I'm not even doing much on Saturday or Sunday except church, I said I'm gonna make my rest day today. No, actually, I that's my justification. But the reason why I've made my rest day today is tell me why I'm checking the Pure Gym app, right? Even trying to see like how many people are in the gym. Yesterday around this time, there were like 96 people. And I was like, oh, that's a lot of people, right? So I thought maybe, you know, it would be around that number. I was even willing. I was like, you know what? It's okay. I'm going to go. Why is it 156 people in the gym? Why are there 156 people in that gym? And to make it worse, in my um, gym in my apartment building, around this time, everyone that has a 9 to 5 or works from home is in the gym. So there's probably definitely a good... 20 people in there and the gym is not that big so I'm looking at roughly a good <laughs> 176 people in both gyms no 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 everything I said about going to the gym that's a lie it's a lie I go tomorrow today's gonna be my rest day I've already had a very hectic day I feel like this is just gonna send me over the edge so we're gonna stay in high in spirits and positive in spirits 
I'm going to tell myself today's my rest day. Yeah, one of my rest days. Today and probably Sunday. But yeah, I'll go to the gym tomorrow. It's arm day anyway. Snaps. Uh huh. Huh? Yeah, tomorrow. The gym is to be tomorrow. Just letting you guys know in case you're like, but she said she's gonna get to the gym and she didn't go. Well, yeah, I didn't go. And I've told you why I didn't go. But yeah. I was gonna go on a hot girl walk. Still gonna do that anyway. Like the walk part, I'm still gonna do. Because I definitely need to get my steps in. And that is an everyday dedication. It's not a five day a week dedication. And I only have 4,000 in. So just gonna keep in my outfit in to take a hot girl walk. But I feel like I'm gonna change my shoes though. Because it's actually quite hot outside and I'm wearing my Ugg Tasmans and those are very wintry shoes because they have like fur inside and we wear them with socks. It's just like extra warm. Made it through winter with those. They were amazing. But right now while it's spring and I'm feeling the way that sun is beaming, I think I'm going to change my shoes to sneakers. Definitely going to just end up in my dunks. And yeah, I also just remembered I didn't put on sunscreen when I left. And I only remember that when I got back home, I was like, wait, did I put sunscreen before I left? I was like, no, I didn't. So I need to do that and then actually go walk again because, Lord, look at my face. Yeah, my skin needs to pattern up. I'm actually a big woman. This looks horrible, but hey, it is what it is. back from my walk right literally not far from home i was like a good five minutes away from home tell me why my bottle falls and smashes i am so mad but i don't want to be mad at the same time so it's whatever just have to film it's a game but why did that happen right there anyway just gives me more reason to get my steps in tomorrow i'm gonna go to primark and get a new bottle because that's why i got it from it is well oh. guys because it's in the afternoon and i practically slept in the morning so i slept around like seven in the morning today um i really thought i was working on my insomnia but yeah I slept at the seven was seven seven eight somewhere around there woke up at 11 um was kind of rotting in bed for a bit and now it's like almost 2 p.m and i got out of bed so this is me starting my day so obviously i have to now fast forward everything in my day to accommodate everything before the sun sets that i need to do before the sun sets 
which is my hot girl walk which i have to do every single day and go to the gym because remember i took a rest day yesterday and didn't do arm day instead there's that and obviously to get my steps in there's some activities of what i need to do within town which is go to primark and get a new bottle because i think it was just the enemy at this point i don't know what he wanted with me yesterday really and truly because he was really so thing of when i hit try in the morning it didn't work um he tried in the afternoon it didn't work because i was just like you are not going to ruin my day i know who i serve to understand and then he said you know what it's the end of the day let's see if i can still get to you and my body just suddenly drops and breaks on the street and i'm just like at first i wanted to be angry but then i was like these are material things i can get it another time don't dwell on it You've had a lovely walk and going to parts of Reading I have never been to that were just so beautiful, like nature wise. And I feel like spring just makes you feel like everything's going to be okay. And I feel like everything's going to be okay. I felt like everything's going to be okay anyway. So, yeah, there was that. So, now I'm going to be taking off this purple patch because I've had it the whole night. And I don't know. Oh, drop that. I don't know if there's gum there because that little pimple was there. And I was just like, I just want it gone. Instead of picking at it, and hmm, not much came out actually. That's fascinating. Not much came out from that, so I'm not mad. But I can throw that away now. But yeah, these I'm gonna give you a review when I've used them probably for like a good amount of time. It's honestly just adorable. Look at that packaging. Like it's just like. Imagine yesterday when I was on the phone to one of my friends, Pumi, she goes, um, why is the, did you do a good job in your school? Why is the star on your forehead? Because they used to do that like in primary school. And I found that so ridiculously funny. But yeah, that's how I'm going to feel when I put these on a lot. But yeah, yeah, I took that one off. Um, today's to-do list, right, included like deep cleaning my bathroom. I want to do it during the week so that on the weekend I don't have much to do because I've told myself this weekend is spring cleaning weekend. Like all the crevices, the corners of this apartment are going to be touched by me. The sand. I was going to start with my bathroom because I have had, like a lot of empty boxes of stuff and lots of empty packaging that I've not been throwing as of recent. Like things like my moisturizers run out of them these are empty need to throw that away um oops my moisturizers need to throw that away some of my old stuff need to go that are just lying about in there i need to organize my hair stuff to see what i actually need at the moment and what needs to go away and be thrown away um my perfume cupboard or drawer or my area for perfume where you guys are currently sitting right now a few things need to go in there that i know are not refillable so like the day-to-day -day zara scents that i normally use those have run out as well so i don't know if i'm going to step into zara or not but yeah most of my daily zara scents like violet blossom this is my my holy grail if i'm looking at affordability and smelling like a flipping garden i love this so this is done um my other fave is gardenia gardenia is also done so gardenia needs to go um third fave would be wonder rose use this religiously as well and as you can see it's literally done so these are my everyday perfumes and they're done so those need to go and there's one that i normally use very fresh I normally use it like before I go to gym, when I get ready for gym. It's still a bit in there left, but it's a turn of spring. It's very fresh, very minimal, very clean. So that, I, I'll run it down to like the end and then I'll throw it away. But three of those need to go. Um, I know there's a bit of my Morton Brown left, so I can replace that later. My dad got me that one. My Burberry's done, so I need to get a refiller online for that instead. Um... My YSL Libra is done as well. We need to get a refiller for that. And yeah. 
everything else needs to go like my old um eyelash i had a smaller one and this is done like it is gone there's literally like maybe a pump there's a pump left in there but yeah that needs to go as well because i got a new one which is a bigger one i use it religiously like i use the eyelash religiously it's probably like my third bottle actually for this year so i use that religiously and that's 100 mils this was 50 i believe so yeah this needs to go as well um put that down here um so my hair stuff i need to go through some of the stuff that's expired because you know how like you know black people um sometimes we don't go through our hair products to see if certain things are stew up to date or the shelf life is stew valid and we just use it for the sake of oh it's there it's not done so we can use it but i'm trying to get into the habit of getting rid of that um please don't mind my sleep shirt i understand there's a lot going on in the internet right now yeah when i got this nothing was going on on the internet okay this man's allegations were not in the world yeah don't hold this top against me it's no fault of my own but i'm never gonna wear it outside clearly so it's a sleep shirt now because i don't know and this because it lives i should be tossing away my clothing i feel like why i'm less inclined to do so is because there was a time um i was moving from my old student accommodation to this apartment and i just had too much stuff which is like a build-up of four years in the country well when that at that time was four years in the country it's time it's now like six a build up of four years into the country and there's just certain things that i couldn't fit anymore certain things that just needed to go certain things that just weren't in the palette of the direction i was going with what i wanted to wear i was getting rid of clothes at the time i got rid of like three trash bags of clothes three four trash bags of clothes and it did leave a dent in my actual clothing because now when i look at my clothes and i put them out obviously it's not as much as it should be but it's due you can see the difference you can see that a lot was gotten rid of but now i think with a year passing by i have kind of bought that number up a bit i'll see if i'm going to do a clean out of my closet um my summer clothes are in storage right now and winter is still out so i need to also switch that out put the summer in and the winter out i do that just for the sake of not mixing clothing and just not being overwhelmed by the amount of clothing i have also it forces me to wear almost everything i have because i have i had a very bad habit very childish habit where it was like i need a new outfit for every situation that's the problem i had and it was the thing of where like if i don't take pictures in the outfit then i didn't wear it and i realized i am a grown grown woman i can't be doing buy an outfit every single time i want to do something oh we're going to brunch tomorrow oh why did a new outfit no like look through your closet you can mix and match any other thing and it can look cute and that was my problem i didn't like mixing and matching my clothing that i already had available and sometimes i would get clothing that was just good for literally one occasion but you know with tiktok you learn new things you realize you're not limited to just a few things so that has become my motto for the year which is mix and match everything you have everything you want with everything in a different way just give it a try instead of buying clothes every single occasion and cozy lives babes cozy bloody lives um yeah so I think I've rambled on for quite some time. It should be 2 p.m. now. So that means time to change for the gym. And I'm definitely going to do gym first. So that I can get that out the way for when I go for a walk. So it's going to be gym first. Arm um, day. No, try and get that. When, you, when, I, when I flex, like it should. It should, it should. Oh, oh, I actually do have something. Oh, oh, oh okay it's gone but yeah there, there is something there so that when i do that it's even yeah more lean okay now i'm just making noise see you guys later
late start to the day today it is literally 3 p.m and i'm not gonna lie to you and say i've been doing anything productive i have done somewhat productive work but majority of the day if i'm being honest i've just been coasting if i'm being 100 with y'all but yeah i'm heading to the gym and this time i'm actually heading to the gym i have been talking about going to the gym or more commercial gym than the one downstairs since i think i've been talking to you guys about it since monday where yeah since tuesday actually i've been talking to you guys about it since tuesday and i have not been able to go instead i have been getting my steps in so i've been doing 10k steps each day I haven't got my steps in today so i feel like that warrants just that just gives me more reason to go to the commercial gym because it's a bit of a distance away from home so it makes it easy for me one to get my steps in and two finally go there because i'm paying for it anyway it's not free and then today's practically my second leg day Yesterday was upper body. I went there really late, to be honest. You all thought I wouldn't make it. I made it to the gym yesterday, actually. I went really late, but at least I got my workout in for the day. I got my 10K steps. I was very proud of myself. So today is a very bottom half focused day, which is just my second leg day. And this leg day is more glute focused, so yay for the pump and for the plot so i'm hyping myself right now so i can step out of the house and go to the gym i'm still traumatized for my bottle falling the other day so i got the same bottle found it in stock um and i got it from primark right because that's where i got it from it's a good fiber not mad but um i just want to let it marinate let it get accustomed to the house first so instead i'm going with water that i bought <laughs> to the gym today and i'm not mad about it um yesterday funny enough while we were at lunch with the girls right tell me why my camera fell my heart fell with my camera it literally landed so hard on the ground i picked it up so fast and I just prayed. I just said, Lord, may the lens be fine. May it work properly. May everything be fine. Obviously, there's you like this little... S Something happened to my screen in Morocco, but we'll not get into that. Um, that's just going to take me to space I don't want to be in. But something happened to my screen in Morocco, and I'm still living through the consequences of that. It's just like a little, like, scratch thing, like, inside the screen. It's not cracked per se, like there's no breakage. It's just inside, like there's something wrong with the inside. So there's like this little line on the screen that just irks my spirit. But yeah, um, I picked up my camera so quick. Checked every part of my camera to make sure it was good. And it was actually good. So I'm happy it's even working. Like fine, no problems. It's working. The fact that you I'm speaking to you guys right now it means it's working there's nothing wrong with it so yeah because i was not about to drop a bag on a new camera i'm not gonna lie to you or getting fixed because even getting fixed is as, as expensive as getting a new camera these days Whew, i'm rambling again um let me just get up and go to the gym my fit for the day is like this gray set that i have it's practically just like shorts and a workout shirt that I have with the BBL jackets oh my I wouldn't say mine is more BBL it's just a jacket to be honest but yeah my fit for the day is just very I feel like a cute fit to the gym just makes the trip to the gym worthwhile so let me grab my keys grab my headphones and let's wrap it up and go see you.
morning guys it's been a slow morning i'm currently still watching a vlog by kira omanique as i set up to start editing so today's really just an editing home chill type of day um because tomorrow my reset so really and truly it's just me trying to get things done i haven't charged my camera so i might not vlog as much until my battery is charged which is long but yeah i'm really just gonna be sitting here and editing for a couple hours because your girl needs to get some content out there i ended up on tiktok and when i end up on tiktok i end up on edits and the edits that are currently vlogging my tiktok are literally my lovely liar and which is a hey drum by the way and bridgerton like i am stuck on bridgerton tiktok right now and i know it's my fault i reread the books again because i'm slightly becoming impatient but yeah i'm stuck on bridgerton tiktok and it's a few more days left it's literally five five more days left and two bridgerton is or part one but yeah so that's just my morning um my final cut pro has given me problems on my macbook so i had to re-download that and hopefully that's done now but yeah i'm literally on one bar like my camera is blinking at me right now so i'll see you guys whenever today but this is definitely i think the last few hours of this vlog if we're being honest or last few minutes because i was going to convert to minutes for you guys last few minutes of this vlog because i'm practically doing the same thing i do every day go on a walk go to gym i'm gonna be home i made some lasagna for dinner last night so i think i'm gonna have it for lunch because it's quite lunch time and i'm trying to eat more meals because i have a very bad i have very bad eating habits it's practically 131 so i'm gonna warm that up for myself and get to work because this vlog needs to be out tomorrow so by the time you're seeing this vlog i'm done like for the week oh <sighs> let's go and edit